Hi, today I'll be doing a detailed comparison of Bitwarden and Proton Pass. Both of these platforms have garnered attention for their robust security features and user friendly interfaces. In this video, we'll provide an in depth comparison covering their overviews, recent updates, main features, pricing structures, pros and cons, and finally, a balanced conclusion to help you decide which might be best for your needs. Let's start with Bitwarden. Bitwarden is an open source password manager that has been a favorite among security enthusiasts for years. Its open source nature means that its code is publicly accessible, allowing for transparency and community-driven improvements. Bitwarden offers end-to-end -end encryption, ensuring that your data remains private and secure. It's compatible across multiple platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS, and provides browser extensions for major browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. This cross-platform availability ensures that users can access their passwords seamlessly, regardless of the device or browser they are using. Additionally, Bitwarden supports passkeys, enhancing the security and convenience of logging into websites and applications. Now let's go to ProtonPass. ProtonPass is a relatively new entrance into the password management arena, developed by the team behind ProtonMail, a well-known encrypted email service. Leveraging their expertise in privacy and security, ProtonPass offers a password manager that emphasizes user privacy. It provides end-to-end -end encryption for all the stored data, including usernames, passwords, and web addresses. ProtonPass is available on various platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS, and offers browser extensions for Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. One standout feature is its integration with Proton's suite of services, allowing users to manage their passwords alongside their mails and other encrypted data. Now let us talk about the main features. First, Bitwarden. Open source security. Bitwarden's code is publicly available, allowing for community reviews and transparency. End-to-end -end encryption. All data is encrypted before it leaves your device, ensuring only you have access. Cross-platform compatibility. Available on desktops, mobile devices, and as browser extensions. Pass key management. Supports pass keys, providing a secure and convenient way to log into websites and applications. Secure sharing. Allows sharing of passwords and other sensitive data with trusted individuals. Two-factor authentication. Offers multiple two-factor authentication options to enhance account security. How about ProtonPass? End-to-end -end encryption. Ensures all stored data, including usernames and web addresses, are encrypted. Hide my email aliases. Automatically generates email aliases to protect your actual email addresses while signing up for new online accounts. Integrated two-factor authenticator. Stores and autofills two-factor authenticator codes, streamlining the login process. Cross-platform support. It is available on major operating systems and browsers. Pass Monitor. It scans the dark web for potential data breaches involving your credentials. Now, what is the pricing like? We start with Bitwarden. There's a personal plan that is offered at $0. It is forever free and no credit card is required. You have access to unlimited devices, passkey management, and all the core options. There is a premium plan that is billed out $10 per month when billed annually. And you enjoy premium features like integrated authenticator, file attachments, emergency access, and security reports. There's also a family plan that is billed at $3.33 per month. And with this, you have access to up to six users. How about Proton Pass? There is a free account which comes at zero euros per month. No credit card is required and you have access to unlimited logins, notes and devices and lots more. There's a Pass Plus plan at $2.99 per month. You get everything in free plus other interesting features. 
There's a recommended plan which is the PASS Family Plan. It is billed at $4.99 per month and you have access to everything in the PASS Plus for six PASS Plus accounts. There's also the Proton Unlimited at €9.99 per month. What are the pros and cons of using Bitwarden and Proton Pass? We start with Bitwarden. The pros Fully open source and transparent. There's an affordable premium plan. There's strong encryption and security features. It supports pass keys and cross platform support as well. How about Proton Pass? It is backed by Proton's strong reputation for security. It includes Hide My Email Aliases for better privacy. There is two factor authenticator integrated, and the family plan offers great value. What are the cons? Let's start with Bitwarden. The UI, which is the user interface, can feel less polished than competitors. There are some advanced features that require premium subscription. And the cons of using Proton Pass? It is not open source like Bitwarden and is still relatively new with fewer third-party integrations. So which one is best? Well, if you prioritize transparency, community-driven security and affordability, Bitwarden is the clear winner. It is open source and that means that security experts constantly review the code ensuring robust protection for your passwords. The pricing is also incredibly budget-friendly making it an excellent choice for individuals and families alike. On the other hand, if you value privacy-focused features, integration with the Proton ecosystem, and an intuitive user experience, Proton Pass is a fantastic choice. With its built-in email aliases and strong security measures, it's especially great for those who already use other Proton services like Proton Mail and Proton VPN. But ultimately, both are excellent options and the choice comes down to your specific needs. So what is your need? Only you can answer that. If you're looking to try other alternatives, you may explore one password Dashlane, and NordPass. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.